Good afternoon and welcome. Thank you all for coming today. This is a big day and moment. You know, when you work on a project of the importance and scale of the one, you don't think about this moment, the launch date, or the ribbon cutting ceremony for the start of construction earlier this month. It's not the end goal. The goal through the three years of envisioning and developing the one and working closely with Foster and Partners in England is to not be satisfied until you know you have achieved something unique, something that will raise the benchmark for design and innovation. We focused on the residents in the one, thinking from their perspective, how could we create an experience of living in the city that is completely new, that will heighten the homeowner's own relationship with Toronto, making them fall in love with this beautiful city all over again, high in the sky, through the expanses of glass, in homes that reflect their identity and passion for the perfect balance of traditional and contemporary design, treating them with amenities and services that make urban life an absolute pleasure, giving them a sanctuary that provides an escape from the city at the same time that it engages with it. The building itself, 85 stories, 175,000 square feet of retail, restaurant, and commercial space. Every square inch of this building Foster and Partners has thought of. A hybrid exoskeleton structure that makes the building six times stronger than a typical tower build. Ladies and gentlemen, when you see a building of this size, you expect 800 or 1,000 units. But then it wouldn't be a world-class building. It would be just like any other building in the city of Toronto. This is iconic. This is a landmark. How many units did we end up putting in here, Sam? 416. 416, area code of Toronto. 416 units, eight elevator bays. That are dedicated. We have over 16 devices, but eight dedicated to the core. I, I can't even begin to think that I can understand these elevators. I'm going to let you tell the crowd about these elevators, These are next-gen elevators. These are state-of-the-art, machine-learning elevators that actually float within the building and start to learn the lifestyle of the building. What time you come in and press the elevator to go to work? What time you come home? When do you need that elevator, depending on what floor you're on? Artificial intelligence is going into these elevators that will be there when you call for it at record speeds that we haven't seen before. They operate at 1,600 feet per minute. They can take you from the top of the building down in under 30 seconds. So when the residents go up on this elevator and come out onto their sky lobby, your 8,200 square foot rooftop terrace with a 2,000 square foot infinity pool facing south that, that what? Is heated 12 months of the year, seven days a week. What would be more Canadian and more Toronto than to be the ability to use the pool in December, January, February, in any climate, fully heated to 104 degrees, snow melt systems in the terrace so you can walk off on heated floors at Young and Bloor with an infinity pool that completely flows into the streets. This is next generation emotional lighting that we've incorporated into the one. It is the newest technology in LED. You've seen it on the CN Tower, but you've never seen it like this. We are making history today. This is the new way that the international world will look at Toronto in terms of capabilities of residential real estate. When you see Michelangelo, and he has his Sistine Chapel, this is Mizrahi Development Sistine Chapel. And what's amazing about it, it has invited everybody in this room to pick up a brush and join us. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you for your support. Thank you.